Session five, the last part of the drive phase, the end of the drive phase. We've spoken about acceleration, we've spoken about rhythm, we've spoken about the front end of the drive phase, we've spoken about the mid part of the drive phase, and now the end of the drive phase. Again, there's different ways of doing this, and different coaches coach different things, different systems, different programs coach different ways. The way that we've found to be extremely successful here is to move with the boat. The boat's now moving at its fastest. So as we finish the drive phase, as we draw at the end and we begin to bring our arms into the stroke, we need to move quickly around the back end. <laughs> to move quickly around the back end means that we get our weight back onto our foot plate. We bring the blade cleanly out of the water, weight back onto the foot plate so we're now in control of balancing the boat again. The Oxford model is they speak about a rebound effect. They come back very quickly, but then other models uh, here in New Zealand even encourage a little bit of time at the back end. We believe it's really important to sit up, draw up, keeping your blade in the water uh, as long as you can, so that we've got the blade in the water for a long time. And then once we've made that finish at the back end, we're still pointing our toes and keeping connected to the foot plate so that our thighs are still tense. We've got pressure on the boat. As soon as we release, we need to come back onto our foot plate so we're in control of the boat. If we stay sitting on our seat for a long time, we might as well get out of the boat because we're not connected to the boat. We've got to keep our weight on our foot plate, pressing against it, release, come back onto it. That's going to help us with our rhythm as well. Let's have a look. So session five, the last part of the drive phase. Sometimes a camera can help us here so that we can take a picture of whether the thigh is still got pressure running through the foot plate at the finish. It can also sometimes help to have feet out so that we can maintain pointing our toes and getting power running through the foot plate at the finish. Uh, the other thing that we can do is quite fun, which is a um, speed up the slide exercise. So you start at backstops and you, it's a competition for the athletes. It's the first person to get to the front and put their blade in. That's quite a fun exercise, but it, at least it helps us move our hands and body over quickly. Okay, we rush up the slide, but at least it's good fun and we practice that quick movement around the back end. The other thing that we can do to help with athlete feedback is to attach a straw, or, or a bit bigger than a straw, to the stern of the boat running along the hull. So water feeds into the straw under the boat and spurts up the top of the straw. This can help at the front end and at the back end because at the front end we can see how low does the water drop before it rises up again in its surge of, uh, in the boat's surge of speed. So that's again quite fun, which can give the athlete good feedback about whether the boat is slowing down uh, for, and how long it's slowing down for, and also how long it's speeding up for. That can be quite fun for both the back end speed and the front end speed pickup.